scriptures coming from Deuteronomy chapter 15, beginning at the 19th verse. All the firstlings, males, that come out of thy herd of thy flock, and thou shalt sanctify unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt do no work with the firstlings of thy bullock, the shear of the firstlings of thy sheep. Thou shalt eat it before the Lord thy God, year by year, in the place which the Lord shall choose. Thy and thy family, thy, thy and thy household. And if there be any blemish therein, as it is, as if it be lame or blind, or have any ill blemish, thou shalt not sacrifice it unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt eat it within the gates. The unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike, as the robot and the heart. Only thou shalt not eat the blood thereof. I shall pour it upon the ground as water. I read from Deuteronomy chapter 15, verses 19 through 23. May the Lord add a blessing to the leaders, the Jews, and the fears of his holy and divine word. Amen.
Almighty Father. For it is always right to give thanks and praise to Him. We pray for all those on the earth, O God. We pray, O Lord, that in, in this trial time, O Lord, that men will turn their face away from the selfishness, O God. Be guided by the Holy Spirit. When I rose in the morning, oh. We pray. 
song said. When David was saying that prayer, he said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He may get me to lie down in the green pastures. And he needed me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. And he needed me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, we fear no evil, for thou art always with us. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. For in the scripture said, Lord Jesus said, I came to be a witness of the truth. And those who seek the truth will hear my voice. And when they hear my voice, they will follow me. And when they come to this truth, they come to know that truth. The truth will set them free. What you set us from? The path of darkness, ignorance, and, and a sinful death. Oh God, we thank you, Almighty Father. And we praise your holy name. For it is always right to give thanks and praise to you, Almighty Father. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh God, we pray for those who have no one praise for them. We pray for our neighbors, oh Lord. For in the scripture said that um, before you judge any other, others, walk in their shoe. And before they say he exit the earth and go back into the heavenly kingdom, he said, I command you to love one another as I have loved you. For there is no greater love than this. That the man will lay down his life for his friend. And when you do this, they know that you are one of my disciples. Oh, Lord. True yeah. love. They know that you walk in the path of righteousness. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For being a Christian, something you have to walk to walk. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you for coming on the earth. Almighty Father, thank you for sending Lord Jesus. Emmanuel, God with us. At this way, as revealed in Exodus, that when Moses come to the well, well, the mountain, and you see a fire around, and you want to uh, turn aside to see this this sight. And you hear a voice talk to him, Moses, I want you to do something. To go to the children yeah, yeah, of Israel. Yeah. To set my to go and set my people free. And Moses, like all of us, questioned that uh, who am I that you should send? Okay. And what should I tell the people of Israel? What's what's whose name should I Tell him that sent me. He said, I am. I am that sent me unto thee. He said, I am the Lord thy God. Who brought thee out of the land of Egypt. And out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other God before me. And it's your face we seek, O oh God. Papa Father. All right. O oh, holy blessed Father. All right. We give you thanks.
some praise. But only when you grant us this breath of life can we give you thanks and praise. We pray for all the souls who time and finish upon the face of the earth. And we pray for all the incoming souls. For in the teaching of the scripture it said, I am the bread of life. I am the spring of living water. If you drink of me, you shall never thirst. O oh God Almighty Father, yes. blessed be thy name. Yes. We pray thee for a clean and pure heart, O oh God. Yes. O oh, Heavenly Father, how we identify ourselves in this, this material world, O oh God. Bless the eyes of our heart, O oh God, that we may see the truth. Bless the ears of our, of our heart, O oh God, that we may hear thy word. Bless the taste, O oh Lord, that you may taste your word, that your word may be filled with the Holy Spirit, O oh God. You said, you worship me in spirit, yes. love, and truth. Yes. Oh, yeah. And really, he was teaching to his disciples, he said the kingdom of God is like this. And he tell them what the kingdom of God is. And the second question, he asked ask him, Master, show us the great kingdom of God. He said the kingdom of God is within you. How we identify things of this world through all the senses. You give us ten senses. Ten Knowledge, sense, and ten, and five, five knowledge and five action senses. We pray, O oh Lord, that they become alive, O oh Lord, yes, by your Holy Spirit, O oh God. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed be thy name.
ministry uh, with uh, Pastor Walton as they celebrate I believe it's their 10th church anniversary. Amen. The address over there is 4150 uh, DuPont Avenue which is right down the street here. And so again 4150 DuPont. We're going over there to celebrate with them yours truly will bring the message this evening. Uh, also, we're celebrating Deacon Fassard's uh, birthday today. Yeah. Uh, I believe there's a little brunch uh, after service. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Walton had uh, informed me that after immediately after their evening service, they're going to be uh, serving food also. So you can get a little brunch here now and you go over there and get a good supper later. We are thankful and grateful. I'm uh, uh, grateful today because uh, uh, on uh, Friday we were blessed to uh, see our only son. Uh, uh, he had married. So now I got a, I got a new daughter. New granddaughter. And to show you how this thing is working out, in a few days I'm going to have a great granddaughter. I said, whew. I said, things just go along with nothing happening, nothing happening. And then y'all want to do all this stuff all at once. Okay, but with the help of the Lord, we will make it next Sunday, Mission Sunday, all the women are wearing white, now me and y'all wear white too if you want, uh, unfortunately my white suit don't fit no more. <laughs> See if, if the pants would fit. They're not even close. <laughs> All right. All right. I see you change. You go open. All right. So, and I don't, I don't think I'm going to want to buy one. Because I, I, you know, I get dirty too easy. Because the car breaks down, I forget I got a suit on, and I'll start working on it. Thankful and grateful uh, that the Lord has blessed us to see our only son get married. Amen. I was doubtful for a while, and, but he fooled me when he said, uh, "Dad, I'm finna, I'm finna get married." I said, "Wait a minute, my right ear don't work so good. Let me turn the good ear." Short might make somebody mad, but that's all right.
this opportunity to stand before God's people and to try 
try and say a word for the Lord. Now today I picked something just to show you what I picked something that I thought was easy and the more I look at it <laughs> it ain't as easy as I thought it was. Alright, I need somebody who got the Bible. If not, don't worry about it. I got one. I think I need to do it this way. You got, you got your Bible? Turn to Exodus. Chapter 32. Now, therefore, let me alone that my wrath may wax hot against them and that I may consume them and I will make of thee a great nation. And Moses besought the Lord his God and said, Lord, why do thy wrath wax hot against thy people? which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand. Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say, for mischief did he bring them out to slay them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth. Turn from thy fierce wrath and repent this evil against thy people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants, to whom thou sweareth by thine own self, and said it unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, and all the land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord repented, and the evil which he thought to do unto his people. I want to talk about God's response to sin. God's response to sin. Not yours, but his. Now, we're thankful and grateful to all of you, our Heavenly Father's children, for your being here. And we are thankful for the traveling grace that Amen. God has given to us. We are thankful because we realize that had it not been for the Lord on our side, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be able to do half of what we do. Amen. But because the Lord is on our side, yeah, yeah. we can do things that we thought were impossible. But they're not impossible as long as the Lord is on our, is on our side. Yes, Lord. Now, I'm going to say this as a public service announcement. Uh, I need you to remember one thing. In about two weeks, we're going to the poll. And you need to vote. Amen. You need to exercise that right. You need to go vote. Folk are being locked up because it is said they are voting illegally. Mm -hmm. uh, folks are talking about voter fraud. And the statistics of this, in that very state where they were talking about all of that and locking folks up, out of 
millions of voters. Notice I didn't say thousand, I said millions. Yes, they found 19 that had voted illegally. So, what in the world are you talking about? That don't even register. Well, 10 million folk and you 19 folks voted illegal and you arrested them and the judge threw it out? So therefore, we all must go vote everywhere because this thing is trying to be done all over our nation. Yep. So go vote. Make sure you exercise that right. God's reaction to sin. In this text, it talks to us and tells us what was going on between God and the children of Israel. The children of Israel were being what they normally are, sinful. It seemed like they had short memories. They had forgot who brought them out. Uh -huh. They had forgot who had sustained them while they were out there in the wilderness. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you know that it's God that is blessing you right now, right now. then why would you doubt him <laughs> next week? <laughs> Say it again, preacher. All right. Just because he hadn't said anything to you in a couple of days. I got news for you. God does not speak to you all the time verbally. All right. In fact, if he did, you couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. Israel had sinned to the point where they made God angry. Yeah, yeah. The Lord said unto Moses, I have been watching this people. And this is from this is from a, a, a Bible in plain English, in basic English. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have been watching this people, and I see that they are a stiff-necked people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that remind you of somebody? Still there. Yes, sir. High head. Uh -huh. Whatever you want to call it. Know everything. <laughs> I heard one guy say, beware when you're always the smallest one in the room. Amen. <laughs> when I first heard him say it, I said, what is he talking about? I said, it take me long. I figured it out. I said, oh, okay. Watch that one. God said, now I'm going to do something. I'm going to now do not, he told Moses, don't get in my way. Mm. For my wrath is burning. Get him. I'm going to send destruction on him. But I'm going to let you get out of the way and become a great nation. And Moses said, wait, 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 Lord, wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold. Let's, let, let, let's cool off for a minute here. Because I know you can do what you want to do. I, I, I know if you want to destroy them, I mean, you can destroy them. Right. I know all you got to do is clear your throat and they gone. Lord, have mercy on that ought to tell you something that instead of us always being ready to condemn, uh -huh. we ought to be begging God to have, have mercy. mercy. Yes, sir. We want to condemn folks because they act bad. Mm -hmm. We should be asking God to have mercy on them. Yeah. Yeah. God will get angry and destroy. It rains on the just. 
When the hurricane came through, it did not say that's a just person house. That's a bad person house. It just said all houses are gone. Some were looking at, we were in our house and, and the next thing we know, the house was gone and we were still there. <laughs> what happened? Don't know what happened. All we know is the Lord spared us. Mm -hmm. All right. Good like that. Personally, in 1974, a tornado came through Forest City. Wiped out a large portion of the city. Notice that it only wiped out the poor neighborhoods. All the more ragged houses that needed to be torn down and rebuilt. Come on, wiped them all out. When female finally got through, they brought in trailers and everybody had a nice trailer to live in. Then everybody was able to get loans and get their houses rebuilt had nice houses to live in for a change. Yeah. And the first thought somebody said was, why did Lord do that? A couple of years later, they were smiling and said, the Lord cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> he took care of a problem that none of them qualified for. Yeah, yeah. He did it. Wiped it out. Well, he did something else when he did that. For many years after that, on Sunday morning, you better get to church early if you wanted to see. All, right. all them churches around there, all of them full. Because folk were thankful. My oldest daughter was with her grandmother at the grandmother's house as well as some of the other grandchildren and they were all in the bathtub mm -hmm. when the tornado hit. After it passed through, they were still in the bathtub, but there was no house around. Yeah. And they were trying to figure out how we get outdoors? <laughs> but they were outside. And this was a little bit comical. We were, we were looking for, they had a German ship and we were looking for the dog. <laughs> and we just called. Finally heard a whimper. Looked up in the tree. The dog was in the tree. Now how the dog got in the tree? Didn't have a scratch on him, but he was in the tree. God did that. Somebody with God said, look for me. All right, man. God is good like that. Yes, he is. God said, these some stiff-necked folk. They now. have seen what I've done. Yeah, yeah. They've seen how I took care of them. They've seen me work miracle after miracle. And yet, here they are. Cause you've been gone a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> now they want to worship idols. Well, I think that we are like that. Just because we don't see God right then, right there, we want to start worshiping idols. Mm -hmm. yep. The text says that Moses started praying to God, begging. Lord, please, do you have somebody in your family that you've been begging the Lord to have mercy on them for years? And look like the harder you pray for them, the worse they act. Yeah. Maybe you don't know anybody like that. Maybe you don't have anybody in your family like that, but I had some, I guess, got some still. Yeah, I got some cousins when uh, we are all in one place gathered together. 
they be on one side and everybody else be somewhere else because we don't want folks to know that them are our kinfolk. <laughs> That's how bad they act. I hear you. Make a shame. I hear you. And we'd be looking at them like, can y'all just tone it down? Just a little bit. No, no, no. Boys, brother. All right then. And yet you have to, because you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have to pray for them over and over and over again. Imagine how Moses felt. Constantly having to go to God and say the same thing. And the Lord have mercy on them. Please, please, Lord. They don't, they don't know no better. Have mercy on them. You remember when Jesus was on the cross? The first thing that he said? Father, forgive them, for they know not. In looking at society and today, and I know you all probably heard the news about the about the little child that was hit by a bullet here just the other day here in the house, and they out there in the street shooting, and one of the bullets went through the wall and hit the child. Uh, thankfully, uh, the little child will be okay. My first thought is this. If you can't handle a gun no better than that, you don't need it. Hold on. I was going to say that. I was going to say it. Mm. You ought to be hitting what you aim at. Hold on. Don't aim at it. Mm. And if you can't hit what you aim at, that, you're doing something wrong. Hold on. You're supposed to be shooting over here and your bullets are going over. Something wrong. And then you got good eyesight, fam. Your gun got a crooked barrel? Probably. Yeah. But then you adjust. They call that Kentucky and Tennessee wind. You adjust. So you got to point it over here if you want to hit over there. Okay. We have to learn that God does not work the way we want him to work. He got angry with Israel. And we want to say, God don't get angry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he does. He does many times. He get angry. Many times. And we'll take you out. Show up. Show up. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Man. When Lot had to leave the city, what happened? God got angry. Yeah. God got angry. I sent some angels down here to get my man. Get him and his family out of the harm's way. And they up here talking about they don't want no woman. We want them men. I said, y'all get out of there. Quick! Don't even pack your bag. Get out. Because I'm finna do something to these folks. When you leave, don't even look back. Come on now. They keep walking. I'm, I'm going to take care of you. And get out now. Now. Something to happen. You got to carry this thing. All right. They made me mad. Yeah. And when God gets mad, read the book of Revelation and see what it says. Talking about sinners will run in that thing. Yes, sir. Crying out to the mountains and fall on me and hide me from the face of an angry God. Come on now. God will get angry when you do wrong. Yes, sir. Yes. But look what happened. Moses intercedes. Moses begged. How you feel? How you, you know what you've done. Yeah. I know that some of you know somebody that had a child or a little one that got in trouble with the law and they went down to the courthouse and they were begging, begging the 
judge to have mercy? Don't you know that if an unjust judge can have mercy, uh -huh. a just God yeah. can also have mercy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Moses was testing his compassion for his people. Whatever the reason for God sparing the Israelites, it makes it clear from that day forward that everyone will know his unchanged in response to unrepentant sin, and he will judge you and condemn you. Romans 6 and 23 says this, for the reward of sin is death. But what God freely gives is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. You are free to choose which master you're going to serve. Because no man can serve two masters. Well, well. William Bell says, find a love too. <laughs> Ain't easy to do. Yeah, yeah. Majestic Wonder did a song some years ago that said, serving the law is hard to do when you're trying to serve him. And the devil too. You just can't do both. One or the other. <laughs> Somebody said, "Well, I, I know, I know what you're trying to tell me, but sometimes I just get a little on the wrong foot." I want to encourage you to stay on the good foot because God gets angry about sin. He don't like sin. And he really doesn't like sin when you start worshiping idols. He really gets jealous when you worship idols. For he said in his word that I am a jealous God and thou shalt have no other God before me. Ask yourself, what God are you putting before him? What God are you putting before our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Who are you putting before him? Who are you worshiping before him? Well, fame, fortune, good looks, good health. What are you putting before him? What are you trying to worship? Before the Almighty God. I want to serve notice on you today. Well. That God will have a negative response right. to your sins. Yes, sir. So you better get right with God while you still have a chance. Amen. Somebody may be praying for you. Yes. But you need to take advantage of those prayers. Change why you got a chance. For tomorrow is not promised to any of us. Tomorrow you may be somewhere in a watery grave. But you need to change why you have a chance. If I were you today, I would give my heart to the Lord. I would tell you that there is hope for you. As long as you've got breath in your body, you got a chance to change. God will He'll have mercy on you. And He will make everything alright. All you gotta do is believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. The one that hung there and died. I don't care what you hear. All you gotta do is uh, trust in him. Yeah. Cause look what he did for you a long time ago. He gave his hands to the nail. He gave his feet to the rivet. He gave his side to the spear. He died. 
to save a wretch like you and me. Look what he did out there. And then hung his head in the locks of his shoulder. And gave up the ghost. And he died. He died for you and me. Went down in a dusty grave. Stayed there for a long day. Stayed all night by the night. Stayed all day long Saturday. All night long Saturday night. But
cross you where it says, Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. Yes, Lord. We pray for them that you, O oh God, will touch their minds and their hearts. Yes, Allow them, O oh God, to be able to understand yes, that you not only died for the grown folk, yes, but you also died for the little children. Yes, Lord. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Touch their hearts right now. Lift them up right now. We ask you to do this in the name of Jesus. We pray for those that have been diagnosed with cancer today. Realizing that you are still a healer. You can heal all manner of sickness and disease. So we ask you to touch right now. Heal right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We Accept the blessings right now. In the name of Jesus, we ask you to reach out right now. Touch right now, Lord. The Lord right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We ask this in all blessings. In the name of Jesus' name. Amen. Turn unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye said, Wherein have we robbed me? In tithe and all. Ye are cursed with the curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearers, and doers of his word. Amen. Now unto him who is able to present you faultless before his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God our Savior, glory, majesty, dominion, and power, now and forever, and all the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Girl. 
You really don't need your pillow right now. You can just carry your pillow. You don't have to put your pillow on. Take your pillow off. Just hold it. Oh, just hold it. You got something on the Oh, okay. I'm trying to tell you, she don't need to put the pillow on yet. 